What's up gang, how's it going? My name is Tom, I am the founder of Time Build Electrics where we design and supply bespoke electrical systems for our wonderful community here in the van life community. So whether you are looking to uh, live full time in your vehicle, uh, travel part time, or just get away for the weekend, uh, we are here to provide a system that is designed bespoke to your requirements, nothing more, nothing less, uh, and using nothing but the best of the equipment. So uh, yeah, when it comes to uh, the installation portion of your electrical system, uh, we see so many times uh, when it comes to particularly screwed terminal connections uh, that bootlace ferrules are not used. Now, I imagine the majority of you are familiar with these, uh, but for those that aren't, uh, a bootlace ferrule is, as the name would suggest, it's a, a small little device, a small little um, sort of crimp that goes over the end of your, uh, over the end of your multi-stranded cables. So whether we're talking uh, 12 volt cables, so your, your red and black 12 volt cables, or whether we're talking about three core uh, domestic, uh, wait, sorry, three core 230 volt AC cables. Uh, if it's going into a screw terminal, it's always required that you fit a bootlace ferrule. We love these. If you use these, you'll no doubt love them. If you don't, you will love them. So as you can see, we've stripped a couple of, uh, of bare ends here. So this is the difference. If you take your, your bare ends of cables, you can see the, uh, the multi strands of, your, uh, of your, your copper conductors here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to turn them into uh, these awesome connections. Now you can see the difference is uh, chalk and cheese, as we say here in the UK. So uh, yeah, it gives you the ability to have a, a beautiful, nice factory, there we go, just about, uh, a nice factory finish on the ends of your cables. So when they are fitted into screw terminals, your screw terminals uh, tighten down nicely onto the ferrules without splaying the, uh, splaying the fine conductors out and giving you a poor connection, uh, which can lead to uh, higher resistance, uh, it can lead to arcing, can lead to all manner of uh, things that we'd much rather avoid. So, all we need is our, our cable here with our exposed conductors, and uh, we're gonna grab a couple of these uh, little bootlace ferrules out. Um, as the name would suggest, these look like the tips of your uh, Look like the tips of like your shoelaces. So a really small little, um, a really small little tip of the shoelace. You can get multiple different variants of these. These are a standard size. You can get ones with uh, a longer, uh, a longer ferrule. So if you've got a particularly long terminal, so for example the BMV712 uh, battery monitor and the Victron Smart Shunt, they uh, the B1 and B2 port or the the VBAT Plus and the uh, auxiliary terminals. They, uh, they can be a little bit longer to insert, so sometimes you might need to pick up a slightly longer variant. But today we're just going to be using these uh, standard, standard insulated uh, varieties. Now what you're going to want to do is simply take your, uh, take your conductor and you're going to make sure that, the, that there's no splayed ends, make sure that none of those um, multi-stranded uh, conductors come loose, and you're going to simply insert the ferrule over the end of your, uh, over the end of your cable. So it looks like a nice bootlace, uh, if you pardon the pun. So um, to finish, and the best part, um, just gonna grab my uh, crimper here from the, uh, from the tool bag. So this is uh, like a bootlace crimper. So it's a, a cool sort of uh, pair of pliers here, but as you can see, there's the, uh, the, the hole in the middle, which is where you put your conductor and your ferrule. So you simply locate your bootlace ferrule into the end of your uh, into the end of your pliers here, and then crimp until you've completely bring these handles together with a nice click and release. And uh, as you can see, we've finished the uh, finished the ferrule perfectly, and it gives you that lovely uh, sort of factory finish. You can see here that the uh, the conductors are a little bit too long here. So what you can do is you can actually just trim these down. Um, and then yeah, that's gonna give you a nice uh, nice factory finish. Um, now lastly, as you can see what we've done here, 
with these uh, 230 volt AC conductors is we finish them with uh, a nice little bit of, uh, of um, shrink wrap, you know, uh, sh uh, shrink tubing just to give that a nice factory finish. And uh, yeah, that's the difference between um, doing a job properly and uh, yeah, and doing it, zipping through it and trying to, you know, miss these important steps. It's always worthwhile making sure that you've got the right tool for the job. And uh, you know, as I'm sure that, uh, as I'm sure your old man has said, just like mine has, if a job's worth doing, it's worth doing right. So uh, yeah, that's uh, ferrules or bootlace ferrules. Uh, if you have any experience with bootlace ferrules, let us down below. If you enjoy them as much as we do, let us know down below. Uh, if you have any other tips and tricks that we haven't uh, mentioned today, then let us know down below. All the best. Until next time, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.